Okay, let's talk about the TABE test. And specifically, we're going to be talking about the 11 and 12 level D uh, test. And uh, even more specifically, we're going to be talking about the math section for this test. Um, of course, if you are watching this video, I assume you are studying for the TABE 11 and 12 uh, test. And uh, this test is used for a lot of different reasons, so I'm not sure why you're taking it. Um, it could be for um, entrance into a training program, college placement. Uh, your employer could be asking you to take this test, kind of see what's, where you're at in your uh, skills, you know, your English, reading, math skills, etc. Or maybe you're going for like a government job, uh, like becoming a firefighter, etc. So a lot of different um, ways or a lot of different areas where the TAB E uh, test is used. So um, either way, uh, if you're taking this test, you're going to need to know a good amount of math. So the TABE uh, stands for Test of Adult Basic Education, and the D here stands for the Difficult Level. Okay, so uh, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and take a look at a math practice uh, problem that you certainly would need to be able to handle for this uh, test. And then we'll talk about some basic strategies so you can do well on the TABE, TABE uh, test. But before we uh, do that, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm a middle and high school math teacher, but I've also uh, constructed and built several online courses over uh, oh, many, many years and I actually offer a great TABE 11 and 12 uh, level D math prep course. I'll leave the link to that in the description of this video, but more about that later. Let's get to this problem. And um, so again, this is the type of math that you're going to need to know for the level D uh, TABE uh, test. So it, I would kind of characterize it as high school level math, algebra and geometry, not just basic stuff. And you're really going to have to know this uh, to do well. And you want to do well on any test like this, okay? Because this is going to determine whether you get into, you know, a school or a job or, you know, these tests are important, okay? So you're going to have to um, ask yourself how, you know, badly do you want to do on this test? And if you really need to do well, which I assume most of you out there, you know, are uh, wouldn't be watching this video if you're not motivated to do well, you're going to have to buckle down and learn a lot of math. Even if you were good in math back in high school or, you know, even if you've got a GED, it's no big deal. I mean, uh, what you know, just think back and say to yourself, well, I was good. It doesn't make a difference. You have to really go back and have all these skills fresh in your mind now uh, for the test. So you're going to have to do some work. But again, uh, that's just an investment in yourself and creating opportunities uh, that, you know, you're going for here. So let's take a look at this problem. And this is a real, real basic high school level algebra problem, okay? So I would encourage you to pause the video and see if you can solve this basic equation. Of course, I'm going to solve it, and then we'll talk about a few other things that are going to help you out on the TABE uh, test. Okay, so hopefully uh, all of you out there pause the video and give this problem a try. So let me go ahead and solve it. So this is a basic equation in algebra, and you know I can go for hours here to teach you how to solve equations, but this is what... Uh, you should have done. Okay, so we have this negative 4 here. I need to do what they call the distributive property, okay, to uh, take my first step. So I'm going to take this negative 4 and I'm going to multiply it by x. So that gives me negative 4x, and then this negative 4, and I'm going to also multiply by this 1. So that's going to be plus negative 4 equals 6. Okay, so that was the first thing, hopefully, uh, you did, okay? And if you didn't do it, listen, if you don't even know how to do this problem, don't panic, all right? It's just, this is all this is intended to be uh, feedback to kind of gauge where you're at. And of course, if you did this problem correctly, by no means does that mean you're ready for the TABE uh, test as well. So let's go ahead and proceed. All right, so if you did this, this is uh, excellent. This is what we call the distributor property. Now I need to go ahead and add a four to both sides of the equation like so. And I get negative 4x is equal to 10. Okay, and then finally, I'm going to go and divide both sides of the equation by a negative 4, like so. And you get x is equal to negative 10 
over 4, and I can reduce that fraction as negative 5 halves. You don't want to turn that into a mixed number. So if this is what you came up with, that's excellent. Okay, But again, this is a real basic, uh, like a ninth grade level math algebra problem, something that you definitely you know, should be able to uh, handle for the TAPE 11 and 12 level D uh, math test. Okay, So a couple other thoughts here. Okay, and now, how do you how do you learn math? Like you know, you right now you uh, you know you're faced with uh, a particular time frame. Okay, you probably have maybe your test date that you you know you so you know how much time you have to study for this test. Well, if you really want to learn as much as you can uh, in a shortest period of time, you need the assistance of a teacher. It's just too difficult to try to do this on your own. So some, a course like mine that's video-based would be an excellent start, but there's other things out there that you can use. I wouldn't suggest you just, you know, get a book and just read through the book. That's that's generally doesn't work too well for people. I'm not saying don't get a, um, a guide or a textbook because those are important, especially if there's practice tests. But to learn math, you really want to try to get the assistance of a tutor. Now, if you... Uh, or I'm sorry, a, not a tutor, but a math teacher. So if you can hire a math teacher as a tutor, that's good, but they're not going to be able to be with you all the time, okay? They're just, at, you know, you have a lot of work to cover to be ready for this TABE um, test. So, um, uh, you know, again, you have to answer the question, you know, how much, you know, are you, you know, willing to commit in order to do well in this test? I would also uh, say that, most people tend to uh, way, way understudy for the math section for uh, these type of tests. Okay, they, you know, you don't want to do the work. Well, and, you know, they're bored with it or they get frustrated. Uh, and oftentimes they get frustrated because they start learning math like this. So in math, you have basic level math and then you kind of build up to medium level. Then there's more advanced level. So math builds upon itself. So if you're just kind of randomly studying like so, you, you start here, then maybe jump over here, but then you go back and try to study over here. That's not a smart way of doing things because you're, you're going to get frustrated. You're not going to be able to do this. And you're like, well, maybe I can do this. And then here you're like, I think I can do this. You can't study math this way. You have to start and, and verify that you have the basics, fundamentals down, and then you need to know what you what builds upon itself. Okay, math has a way of building upon itself and you know you can kind of verify and skip uh that hey you know this you know this but you can't just start here and assume that you know all this other stuff so you have to have a coherent plan a good course kind of curriculum to follow okay in order to um improve your skills in a shortest period of time but everybody out there can do it and if you're taking this test um Absolutely, you can do well on this test on the math uh, section of it, but you got to have a good plan and you have to have the commitment and focus in order to, uh, you know, pull all those things together. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and just wrap this video up. So at the time of this video, I think I've been on YouTube for like 12 years, so it's a real passion of mine. I have hundreds and hundreds of math videos on my YouTube channel. I'm always posting all the time, so a lot of this uh, material on my channel can help you out. Uh, for this TABE uh, test. So hopefully consider subscribing. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave us some feedback. Uh, why are you taking uh, this TABE uh, test? Are you um, going for a particular job or uh, training program? Just interested because again, uh, the TABE uh, test is used for uh, a wide variety of reasons. And maybe you're taking it for um, you know the second time or third time. A lot of these type of tests Trust me, if you're taking this again because you didn't do well in the first time, you're not alone. Many, many people uh, at all uh, levels, there's so many test prep uh, uh, requirements out there, whether it's getting into college or getting into graduate school or becoming a teacher, and not everybody passes these tests the first time. So don't feel bad about it, but you need you know, you need to kind of um, organize and not repeat the mistakes, you, you know, that you did, let's say, to get you, you know, if you didn't do well in your first exam, you don't want to do the same plan over again, right? <laughs> yeah, so you need to make some adjustments. And hopefully this video uh, helped you out. Again, I'm going to leave a link to my TABE um, uh, math prep course. Very, very comprehensive. I think it would definitely uh, benefit you. But I'll leave the link to that in the description of this video. 
With that being said, I definitely wish you uh, all the best in your endeavors. Uh, Thank you for your time and have a great day.